Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the Gospel of John. John chapter 7, verse 38. These are the words of the Lord speaking here, and I will read them. He says, He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Notice Jesus makes some astonishing claims here, and he does this on the last day of the great feast, the Feast of Tabernacles. There was three feasts in which uh, the Jews would come to assemble in Jerusalem. And on this last day of the feast, Jesus does something that's really unusual that really catches your attention. Because during that time, a teacher, their common position was that of sitting and they would talk to people. But it says here that he stood up and he cried out. And you can imagine they got everybody's attention by standing and crying out in a very loud voice. And everybody, it would draw their attention. Now, the last day of the feast here, uh, tradition has it that people would march around in a procession. And at the end of the procession, they would stop and they would be praying unto God, saying, send prosperity, send prosperity, send prosperity. Speaking of the rain to come for the harvest, so they would bring in the harvest. And notice what Jesus says here in verse 38. He stands up, he cries out, and he says, he who believes in me, as the scriptures have said, out of his heart will flow living waters. Jesus declared himself to be the very source of life. He is the one that can quench the thirsty soul of every man. Jesus knows, I mean, God knows that we have, a, we thirst for two things. We have a physical thirst, and that will never be really satisfied. We will drink, and then we come back and drink again. And we also have a spiritual thirst, and that spiritual thirst can only uh, be satisfied with a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, the human heart will never rest until it rests in Jesus. And what is this living water? It is he, the Holy Spirit. How do we know that? Just keep on reading. Look at verse uh, 39. It says, but this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given. Yes, during this time, we're still talking about, even though this is the New Testament writing, but when Jesus was living, they were still under the law. Remember that. And so during that time, the Holy Spirit, as we understand, would only come upon people for certain events, for, for certain things. It wasn't indwelling within them. But after the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, then he sent forth from the Father the Spirit. And the Spirit dwells within us. Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit to all those that believe in him. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you, knowing that uh, the Lord himself has satisfied your spiritual thirst, that he revitalized you, that he, re he gives you new energy to rise and to move and to go forth in the power of his spirit. I pray as you go throughout this day, be safe. Be safe out there. Tune in again tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> as we consider today's verse. Amen. God bless your heart.